Look at the snakehead right there, guys. These fish can get up to 15 pounds. Oh my god! Look at all the baby snakeheads right there. Yes! What is going on guys? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Ryan is Fishing. Comment of the day is popping up right down below for your chance to win the next comment of the day. Be sure to hit that red subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment on this video. Today, we are going snakehead fishing. But we're not trying to catch the big ones. We're actually trying to catch the little baby fry with the dip net. This is so cool. When these snakeheads spawn, they literally push right up on the bank and there's just two massive logs guarding hundreds and hundreds of baby snakeheads. So we're gonna go try to scoop some. We also brought a fishing rod, see if we can catch a few. And it should be a lot of fun. But before we get to fishing, I actually have a few giveaway winners to announce. The winner of the mystery tackle box from my last MTB Slam is Teresa Higgins. Thank you so much for your amazing comment. DM me on Instagram, my handle's popping up right here and I'll get these shipped out to you. ASAP. Guys, that is why it's important to always be engaged on my video because I'm giving away stuff all the time. Thank you guys for all the support. Now, let's go hop in the truck and let's go fishing. Alright guys, so we're at a brand new spot. I've never fished this before. I just saw it on Google Maps and I thought it looked pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and give this a try. Oh my god, guys, there's a giant snakehead on fire right here. Oh my god. Come on, find it, find it, find it. Oh no, he's spooked. Guys, there's two snakeheads all the way over there under that tree. I'm gonna try to skip it up under there. It's a hard cast. Nope. Bro. How the f We went in the water. God damn it, dude. Hey guys, so just now off camera, I broke off on a really good snakehead right in this corner where I'm pitching at. Today has definitely been a struggle for your boy. I mean, I've been breaking off on snakehead left and right. I've been seeing a bunch. For some reason, my braid has literally been breaking off on fish all day. And I've just become super freaking frustrated today. But my luck was about to turn around shortly. Yes, 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 baby. Woo! Finally, after five hours of freaking fishing, it's not a big one, but it is a freaking snakehead and it's a start. Check it out. Gulp the frog, sitting right in the shade. I just lost one right there, a really big spawner, probably a nine pounder, eight pounder. It hit the frog, I set hook, I broke off for the second time today. Okay, and he's gonna release himself. There he goes. So I'm gonna right back on down. Oh my God. Oh my God. Holy cow. That, there's a big snake head over there. My, my lure was just dangling from the tree and he crushed it. I think he skedaddled out of there. Guys, check it out. Look at this. This is the banana tree right here. These are little baby bananas. They're not ready to eat yet. Hashtag South Florida thing. I used to have a banana tree behind my grandma's house. I used to go out there every morning, eat a banana right up the tree, and catch a big peacock bass in Miami. Hashtag memories. So the goal is to catch one or two more snakeheads, then go back to the truck and see if we can net some of the little baby snakehead fry so we can look at it. They're literally like an inch long. They're mini little tiny baby snakeheads. So I think that'd be pretty cool. Oh my gosh! <gasps> Holy cow, that was a giant freaking snakehead right there. Oh my god. 
at least we're seeing some more action. Oh my God, that's a big snake. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Yes. <laughs> oh, bro. Check that out. You want to eat him? Huh? Very good eating fish. You want him? You good? No problem, man. Check out that beautiful snakehead right there. This thing is absolutely a brute. He waked the bait all the way down the shore, crushed it. We've been fishing for a while now, and we've been trying to figure him out, but we finally got him. Let's get an up-close shot of this guy. Check him out. <laughs> Gorgeous freaking fish. Thank you so much. It was worth the five hours of struggling, because now we're starting to get into him. Look at that fish right there. Absolutely beautiful. There he goes. Peace, my dude. Guys, that is a big freaking snake right there. Come on. No, no. Oh my gosh. That thing was lit up orange. Took me a minute to see him. He was sitting right freaking there. I'm telling you, these fish literally sit in like inches of freaking water. Oh my God, he's on it, he's on it. From the bad cast, from the bad cast. No, I broke off. This is the third freaking break off I've had all freaking day. Look, he's right there with the frog in his mouth. I am extremely, extremely frustrated right now. I have broken off on an insane amount of fish today. All right, I'm done, I'm done. All right guys, back in the car. We have that dip net in the back. We're gonna go walk up and down the banks of these canals. We're gonna see if we can find some baby snakehead fry. Literally anywhere from that big to that big. And these canals are infested with these snakeheads. So we're gonna strap on the chesty. We're gonna hop out and we're gonna see if we can find some snakehead fry. Let's go do it. All right guys, we have our dip net. I also kind of made a makeshift frog out of just a regular worm hook. And I just thread it through a hard body topwater frog. I have that on the rod just in case we see a monster. You never know, but the main target right now is for these elusive little baby snakeheads. I think that there's a fry ball down here, guys. Yes! Guys, look at this! We got baby snakeheads, check them out. I knew that there was fry down there. Look at those. Those are little baby snakeheads. We got three of them. That was, oh no! All right, wait, wait, come back, come back. Ah, oh, I released one of them. We're down to one. Check it out. That is a beautiful, beautiful snakehead. We're gonna take out the camera for him and get a picture. This is a little baby snakehead, guys. Check that out. Just a little guy, absolutely beautiful. Look at the blue on him. Guys, we're gonna go ahead and put him back. All right, buddy, go home. Go swim down, back with your buddies. I think there's more down there, guys. We're gonna go scoop again. <clears throat> yeah, like I said, these little baby snakeheads are extremely, extremely skittish. Once you start netting them, or even when they see you, they are just out as fast as they can be. Look at that snakehead right in there. Oh my God, he's zooming on his tail. Guys, he's a really good snakehead. Look at him. Hooked all the way back in there. Oh, look, there he goes, gone. Just spook, swim right off. I don't think he's on any fry. I don't see any fry. I don't see another snakehead with it. It looked like he was just alone and he was hunting. This is a banana tree. Here in South Florida, people have these behind their backyard. Look at these, these are little baby bananas. This is just a little one. I saw a really big one earlier when I was fishing. The bananas were almost ripe enough to eat, but that's pretty cool. Stuff that you see when you're fishing in South Florida. Yes, guys, look at that spawning snakehead right there. Oh, they dipped. They dipped, oh, he's right there, he's down there. He's backing up. We're gonna net deep and see what's down there. Yes, guys, look at that, I told you. Check out these little baby snakeheads. Check them out. Let me get a good hold of them real quick. Look at his mama right there. His mama's right there. 
Look, look at all the baby snakeheads right there. Look at all the baby snakeheads. Watch this. We're gonna get a mega scoop. Three, two, three. We got four. We got four. Still got four. Look at that. Look at these little baby snakeheads. They're so cute. All right, buddy. See ya. Let you go back with your friends. These fish can get up to 15 pounds. It's just so crazy to think about that. See so ya, yeah, we got two more in the net right there that we're gonna release right now. See ya, buddy. There they go, they just swam right out of that. Look at the snakehead right there, guys. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Oh, guys, you really don't get to ever see a cactus bloom. This is pretty rare, so I wanted to come and show you guys. Look at this. This guy's about to bloom some beautiful flowers. But uh, as you can see, he's kind of dying. Nature, sick. Oh my God, I almost just fell. All right guys, so that brings us to the end of our video today. If you like what you see, give it a good old thumbs up. Hit that red subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and don't forget to leave a comment on this video. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I'm definitely going to be doing a lot more saltwater videos coming soon. I see all those comments, so definitely coming soon and if you guys have not checked out my merch page i'm giving away a whole bunch of merch very soon i'm actually printing out the shirts this week so what you need to do is go follow this handle right here comment hashtag ryan iz on the first instagram picture on that page and you're entered to win some free swag but guys that brings us to the end of our video today thanks for hanging out with me and we'll catch you in the next one keep on fishing